I fully believe that within every player there is three or four percent of untapped potential. This can be unlocked by focusing on the craft, by quantifying the sublime touch and feel of a player's feet on the ball. Every team in the world is looking for incremental improvement gains from their players and coaching staff. And they're looking at sports science, nutrition, diet, they're looking at, at fitness, they're looking at, at strategy and technique, they're looking at uh, analytics, they're looking here, they're looking there, they're looking everywhere, right? But nobody's focused on the craft, the skill, the mistakes. Why do people make mistakes? They make mistakes because they either miscontrol the ball or they mispass the ball or they misshoot. Easy. Five. Great. Six. Great. Seven. Eight. Nine. It's a record. Oh, 24 seconds. He's missed it. He's missed it. <laughs> There are only four skills that players can do with the ball at their feet, and they are control, pass, dribble, and shoot. If players can get faster and more accurate at these four skills, they will make less mistakes and therefore become better players. And what's more, the super skills data can prove it. The SuperSkills technology brings the age-old penalty box markings into a new 3D digital arena which can test and measure a player's most valuable asset, their touch. Now, for the first time ever, players have the technology to turn their skills into scores, into statistics. You got the camera rolling? I got, got the camera rolling. One. Two, three, four. Something new, something new, something different. Um, I think the most important thing is that anybody who's tried it, I know loads of footballers, professional players who've been on this system and not one of them have not had a good time. And more importantly, don't think it's game related. And more importantly, even more important than that, it's relevant to trying to be a better professional football player. All the aspects of the game that you work on, your awareness, your first touch, getting in line, you know, using both feet at times. I think everything's there for you. Three, four. Well, I think the most important thing with this, it's for everybody. You can be the beginner, the learner, the kid who's just starting to play football with the idea of maybe one day becoming a professional. To the top of the range professional, the Messi's, the Ronaldo's of this world, because of their competitive nature, I guarantee you, if they got on this, they'd be playing each other, they'd be playing everybody, and they'd want to get better. So I think it's for everybody. It's for the beginner and for the, you know, the elite soccer international player. 20 seconds to beat. Three, two, one, go. One. Growing up, I just used, you know, a ball and, and the side of my house. So to have technology where it can show you on, on, on the board where you're hitting the ball and then with the time on top of that and then having to stay in a, in a grid, it, it just adds so many elements and it's so specific to, to soccer. We're professional soccer players and me and H have been in here for an hour, you know, playing it and we, you could play it all day and as I say, it's fun and learning at the same time so I think it's great. 15 seconds. I got 16, I gotta get 15. I made hard work of it at 6. I have never seen anything like this in uh, every portion of, of football that I've been around in, in America. Uh, I've played all around the country, uh, played in many youth clubs, and you can't really create it uh, on your own. You know, you've got the app going, you've got the time going, you've got the competition. After three, two, one, go. Wow. I've never come across something that you can, you can just go and do on your own and actually see the results by yourself. It's like playing a PlayStation, Xbox, you're sitting there but you're actually getting outside and I think that's why it would appeal to so many young kids. It gets their touches in and they can then learn their craft. If you have an app, you can do this yourself. You, you can go out on your own for two hours and just practice by yourself. You don't need anybody watching you, you don't need anybody to time you, it has all that for you. You can see how you're progressing and that's a massive thing to be able to do that on your own, on your own time. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 seconds you were. I think technology's obviously played a massive part in that. You know, uh, being able to use this 
on your phone and, and record you know how you did on day one and if you keep using it see how, how you get to day 60 you know and then being able to see the difference between them scores from I think it's great as as a young player growing up to maybe get a hold of a professional soccer player's scores and see where you stand to a professional soccer player and it will make you a better player there's no doubt Game technology has developed this way to make the people excited. The light makes you do it again, and the sound makes you frustrated, and at the same time makes you happy when you hit it. And that is the, the, the psychology behind games. Oh, 24 seconds, he's missed it! He's missed it! Those sounds, those lights, those numbers, those ticking clocks, uh, all of those numbers are already in your brain because you are used to play with the PlayStation, you are used to do these things with your own hands, but now you're going to use your full body and you're going to train and you're using Seven. the same t kind of awards Eight. that the game gives you when you win or when you lose. When I first heard of Super Skills, I uh, instantly thought, wow, why has that not been done before? This is a void in the game, not just in the market of soccer, but in the game itself and never has there ever been a scorecard for soccer that can be universally um, embraced. What an amazing opportunity. Tell me a golfer in the world that's any good, number one, doesn't know his handicap, and number two, doesn't spend two or three hours on the training ground every day getting his touch better so that he can improve, lower his handicap. And that's exactly the breakthrough that this data mechanic will deliver and, and it's the right product at the right time because technology has made it right, right now. When I found out this had the Johnson brand on it, when, when Craig Johnson was involved, not just involved in it, but invented it, you saw the effect that Predator had. That was a zero to one concept and blew up the world of soccer. Um, shoes have never been the same. There's some industries being built on that shoe, on the Predator shoe. So anybody in the sport knows what effect that had. So by having Craig Johnson invent this system, uh, you know that it's not just going to be an improvement of something, it's going to be a, a revolutionary product. There's a cocktail there of fun, gaming, psychology, competitiveness, and the love of, again, the world's biggest sport. So it's kind of like a perfect storm because they become addicted because no one likes to make a mistake. No! No! Oh, yeah, yeah. oh no! That if you can actually take the game and make players love it more because they're more skillful, it'll mean what it's meant to me over the years. Lovely. Eight, nine, and finish, ten. Yes. Whoa! Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten! 7.04. Got better from yesterday. Yeah. I was well, 23 yesterday. Well, there you go. 20 today. There, there you go. Yeah. Footballers are competitive animals. The first time the players get on the skill rigs, it's like a giant light bulb coming on in their heads. Once they know how fast and accurate they are at the four skill drill races, they want to get better and they want to beat their own personal best clock. And of course, their teammates. It's kind of natural, because after all, on match day, who doesn't want to have a better touch and who doesn't want to be a better player? Yes, I've done it. I've done it.